The answer choices to this question also point to that maybe we need to think about sentence structure, right? We're changing the verbs. And a lot of times when we're thinking about this ing verb, the way that that functions it, grammatically is it usually is describing something. So it's, it's part of extra clauses, especially if we see that comma there. So just the presence of these options makes me think that I need to worry about how the sentence is built. So let's see what we get here. The beginning is not important. <laughs> in 1966, Emmett Asher became the first African-American to umpire a major league baseball game. Well, the period ends that sentence. So I don't really need it grammatically to figure out what's going on in the next sentence. His energetic gestures announcing when a player had struck out and his habit of barreling after a hit ball to see if it would land out of bounds helped transform the traditionally solemn umpire role into a dynamic one. We need A because we don't have a verb until we get to that. We have very long descriptions that sound like actions, but they're just descriptions. So let's, let me show you what I see when I read this. I cut out a lot of the extra. I come down to um, his gestures and his habit helped transform the role. <laughs> That's the sentence I see. His gestures and his habit uh, helped transform the traditionally solemn umpire role into a dynamic one. Now, why am I allowed to do that? Well, part of it is just developing a skill of recognizing a pattern in a sentence. I see because of this word and here that we have some sort of complex clause or something being built. So I need to think, okay, what, what is the heart of that clause? It's a two-part subject, his gestures and his habit. Two things transformed, or in this case, helped transform the traditional role. So we need to see that double subject. And then bounds is not doing anything other than finishing the description. Um, it's a long description of barreling after a hit ball to see if it would land out of bounds. But the fact that I can kind of cut that shows me that I don't need some comma or anything to transition back into the, the verb because there is no comma to start. There's no other punctuation in this sentence. So if we're going to have commas and interruptions, we've got to think about what they're doing and that they are going to transition us from like the main sentence to extra clauses. But the extra clauses here are just prepositional phrases. They're the kinds of things that don't get commas. The fact that there's none there tells us we're just going to kind of continue this thought. I, I, I get what they're doing here. They're hoping to just overwhelm you with a very top-heavy sentence so that you get lost. So you have to develop the skill of, of kind of like removing adjectives, removing some extra stuff, and trying to see what the heart of it is so that you can hear like, oh, this is, this is what verb tense I need. Um, if English is not your first language, that's going to be hard, but it gets easier with practice. So hopefully my videos uh, can teach you how to do that effectively.